So I got a notification that my ram has come. Let's check the mailbox and see. It did! Voila! Such a small package for the ram. So tiny. One slot empty and one slot. Then we can pull this out. Or at least try. And here I actually removed a portion of it because uh, when I was trying to uh, get, trying to reset the PRAM, um, it kept going to the recovery partition. Uh, so, and I find out later why that actually happened. But it did still start eventually, and it recognized the new uh, four gigs of RAM. And if you're questioning the blur on my computer there, um, I was actually working, and I didn't think that the GoPro would pick that screen up, but it did. And uh, here I just show that it has it has the four gigs of memory showing here. So uh, yeah. And right here what I'm doing is I'm going to the Apple website where um, it gives you the link to the Mac App Store to actually download El Capitan. And I find out that I can't download it uh, because it keeps saying that my password is wrong. And uh, I'll go into that more in a minute.
tickets. And so now what I'm doing is looking up issues with uh, two-step verification or two-step authentication, which Apple has, and I'm thinking, okay, well maybe it's saying my password is wrong because this computer has an older operating system that probably doesn't support the um, two-step verification or two-step auth authentication. authentication. And so um, I go and sign in iCloud on here on my regular computer, my Windows computer, and it works fine. Weird thing is, I go to do it on the iMac, and it still says my password is wrong. So the whole time I'm thinking, okay, two-step verification is a problem. So at this point, you can probably tell I'm getting a little frustrated. I'm actually in my account information, and I'm looking to see if I can turn off the two-step verification or authentication or whatever. And uh, it is not allowing me to. Um, I guess at this point, they don't let you do that. So <laughs> you could say I'm visibly pretty upset um, trying to figure this whole thing out. So uh, yeah, so I believe at this point, I'm going to contact Apple Chat. And uh, that was a fun mess. So I just sped this part up because uh, I know it's kind of boring to watch me just uh, research this issue. Um, you know, I went in and uh, found out you can get a one-time code from just going into your uh, settings on your iPhone. So I was thinking, okay, maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's what I need to do. And then I found out that uh, for devices that don't have the two-factor authentication, um, you can just add the number to the end of the password um, and that'll work just the same. Uh, so right now what I'm doing is pulling up my computer because I'm thinking, okay, this is a pain in the butt. Um, maybe I'll have better luck just downloading it from my my regular laptop. And of course, I go in here, and uh, the way that Mojave works, it does not allow you to do that. So um, when you go to download something from the Mac App Store like this, it brings up the software update um, for the computer. It's for this computer. So I was not able to even download it. Um, so I'm just, you know, increasingly getting frustrated. <laughs> as you can see um, and I'm not sure when but at one point I end up actually just downloading a torrent yeah you can see I'm just visibly annoyed by this whole situation um, so I decide okay let me see if I can maybe torrent it and or maybe if there's a direct link to it um, but there's not so I did find a torrent, but I was not really feeling that. I felt like that was going to be not a really safe bet um, to do. Uh, the download that I found wasn't, it didn't feel really good. Um, and then the, uh, it just, yeah. And I don't know if you can see, there's like a, one of those websites with all the download now buttons. And uh, this is an old version of Chrome that has no ad blocker. So I'm like, okay, what download button am I going to click? <laughs> it was, um... Yeah, just a mess. Just a complete mess. So, uh, yeah.
And after talking to Apple support for probably about an hour, I finally got it to download. It wasn't an issue with two-factor authentication, which I thought. It's this keyboard. <laughs> I found out as I was creating a new account, a new Apple ID, the shift keys don't work. So when I was entering my password in, it kept saying it was wrong, and it was. <laughs> but now, it's working. And now we wait. to our desktop now. Looks a little more familiar. And bam, there we are. OS 10 El Capitan. Now things should run a lot better, or at least we should have better luck here. So here's the dock, flattened. It forgot my Wi-Fi information apparently which that's fine, I'll get that done. Let me see. Oh yeah, that's much better.